So Nightfire specifically, uh, as I was saying, it's, it's a spy thriller that, you know, follows these two American agents who are hired to retrieve uh, military chips that contain top secret content. And the plan, their plan almost goes awry. We shot it all in northern Italy. Uh, keep in mind, as I was saying, this this was born as a TV pilot, a student production. And this was this is in the you know even before writing, we started listing all the things we knew we had at our disposal because uh, we couldn't you know dream up a Hollywood production. So in regards to we, we, you know and then bank on raising the money, that's something that's a lot very difficult. So just yeah. So let's let's start right there. So let's start before you've written the script. What is a list of some of these things that you had access to that you thought okay we can incorporate these incorporate these high production value things into our story? Maybe just give us a list of some real examples of things that you had and you used. So for example, we. Uh, we're trying to the design, which this is something fascinating that Christopher McQuarrie, the director of, of Mission Impossible Fallout, has talked about in regards to the same way with Rogue Nation, they were drawing up different set pieces and understanding, which is an unusual way of constructing story. How do we go from this to that to that in an organic way? So we knew, for example, the amusement park uh, that I was mentioning before, they have a stunt show and they have an amazing set. This open air Afghanistan looking set, which has trucks and uniforms with soldiers. And I was like, we got to have a military base in there. And the also have a submarine set, you know, which is literally a recreation of an entire, you know, a U-571 kind of submarine. I was like, we got to have a sequence there. We went to Verona. We shot in my hometown of Verona, which is a beautiful city in northern Italy, you know, famous for Romeo and Juliet, but it has this massive open arena and in front of the mayor's office we knew that they were going to be building for the end of the new years we shot it right over winter break uh and they were going to have a big stage we couldn't afford building a stage so we talked to city hall and we said what well, you're dismounting the stage on january 2nd wait until january 3rd we're going to shoot there on the night of january 2nd uh you know because it doesn't cost you anything uh so and even in regards to car chases, we would go out and we said, okay, we got to find a way to buy literally 250, you know, euro cars. We know they're going to break down, but that's the only way we can afford to have cars smashing into each other and all these things. So we just started listing all these things and, and same could go with actors. You know, we know that person who knows that person. We definitely could have, we could try and have them in the movie if they think it's so listing from vehicles to locations to actors just listing all these things and then trying to find an organic way of what is the most emotional order in which we can present this information so that it feels like an organic story and that was a process of many many months um we were rewriting the script you know even the mornings of and we just had 12 days as i was saying it was a student production i went to all the classmates and i said friends not only we cannot pay you um, we cannot even fly you over to Italy, but if you can get yourselves there, not only, yeah, well, obviously we're going to feed you and we're going to house you. We had 30 students, you know, sleeping in sleeping bags in, in this giant living room, but it, we can assure you it's going to be unlike any th experience you've ever done. And, and to me, that's what, you know, often you guys talk about on the podcast, I'm very lucky to have gone to film school, but the experience of those 12 days of shooting where you have, dozens and dozens of professionals because we can talk about that the two departments where we did not want to mess around safety wise was stunts and special effects we had to have professionals for that because you cannot improvise yourself you know an explosive mm -hmm. expert <laughs> but yeah. uh, I hope not <laughs> thanks for checking out this clip from the selling your screenplay podcast if you'd like to hear the full interview just go to selling your screenplay.com slash podcasts or to go directly to the episode just use the link in the show notes Thanks for watching.